I'll start with Tokuguru for this book, The Happiness Hypothesis. I'll give this book four out of five. I think it's a good overview of happiness. Uh, and not necessarily I agree with everything he said there, but it's a good overview. And he read, he did good research from all kinds of religions and books. So I think it's a good, uh, I, liked, I liked some ideas there. And definitely some good information, packed with information, and mostly good, inter in interesting information. Let's see the notes. According to one theory, instructive thoughts are a result of random occurrences. This reason, the reason we remember them, is because we try to su suppress them. So that we we have intrusive thoughts but they are a result of random occurrences the reason we remember them is because we keep suppressing them and then they're more likely to remember them the elephant is deciding things and the writer give the reasons that's the main premise of the book not the main but we also have it's this i think this is his own idea the writer and the elephant the elephant is the subconscious in some way and in more responsible for most things we're doing and we are the writer we don't have that much control and we think we have a lot of control but we don't have that much control and here is it the elephant is deciding things and the writer just gives the reasons so after the fact the, elef the elephant is doing things and the writer just explains everything that happens the amygdala is a faster way to process information and does negativity is faster than positivity so i mean like it's very fast i price information and that's also where negativity uh, goes all of our system are working simultaneously the ratios changes in accordance with the situation so it's not that they turn off and on they all on and the ratio of how much what is the dominant system is changing so there's the number sign here that means that I like this idea concession lead to concession when we got something for free or more likely to give something back for free back that's a concession leads to concession idea it's not a new idea but when we get something for free we're more likely to reciprocate we're more likely to like someone that does the same things as we do such as religion, rituals, etc. If they're doing the same thing, we're more likely to like them. It's kind of a group bias idea. We tend to justify our intuition with reasoning after the fact, similar to what a lawyer does. I like that a lawyer metaphor or analogy. It's after the fact, we're reasoning and giving ideas and arguing. That's what a lawyer does. After the fact, he explains why his client, their client, vid x or y as humans if dopamine for a successful act is not coming immediately we might not get it at all so it's good to know that because some long-term planning usually we're not going to get dopamine and if that reward is not immediate we're not going to get might not get it at all so it's a good thing to know the happiness formula h equal s plus c plus v that's a happiness formula i'm not sure who constructed that but s is for biological I forgot what it exactly means c for life conditions and v for voluntary actions so biological is like the genes and we have life conditions which is like our environment in some way and then voluntary action is what we decide to do so i think they said like s is set c is mostly set and v is what we have more control on getting a house on a busy street should be avoided next to an intersection due to the noise of cars and music i like the idea <laughs> uh, i forgot what why he brought it through like what was the reasoning he was talking about it but i like the idea that next to an intersection there is more noise The writer should limit indulgence of the elephant since it doesn't know how to stop itself. So the elephant 
is more more like a child in some way and it will indulge 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 in itself without limits and the rather job is to limit the elephant because if not it's just gonna keep on going conspicuous consumption establishes hierarchies that's how we establish our, our position in the hierarchy by conspicuous consumption oh I have this I have this expensive thing I have this car and again that's uh, one that I liked what doesn't kill you make you stronger since it shows you you can keep up with stressors and trauma so in some way it extends that way I understand it it extends your horizons let's say you knew that you can go from one to two now you can go from one to three and you can go from one to four because you know four is available and five is available whatever just extend your abilities because you see oh okay i, I can actually go i can do that and i'm not gonna die and that extends your horizons side notes the study about re reappraisal is extremely flawed i forgot what was the study about reappraisal but uh, it was so like reverse correlation or correlation not causation I, I don't know it was just extremely flawed in general there was like a few studies that he brought in his in, the, in his book that was um flawed in, a little bit could be reverse correlation or just correlation and not directly related so there's quite a few of them Total freedom might lead to ang anxiousness as oneself doesn't know what should they do. So there's too many options. Total freedom actually leads to anxiousness because there's too many options and, and it's kind of deb debilitating because we don't know what to do. Being discussed developed as an evolutionary adaptation to avoid diseases. Usually disgusting things are also carrying with it some diseases and that's why we developed to avoid them the self has developed to help us be more social that's why we have the self that we see ourselves in some way from the outside because the, that's how we can see ourselves in a social situation and how our others see us interesting idea the feeling of awe i probably didn't write, uh, spell it right is often a consequence of divinity and can be also produced artificially by movie heroes or drugs that's a feeling of awe type of feeling and it's a consequence of divinity uh, usually it's associated with god or something like that but it can also produce artificially by movie heroes uh, he said that they can produce the same thing or drugs obviously chanting and other religious collective activities can enhance group cohesion that's chanting and many things we do with a group together as a group is uh, very good for group cohesion. They usually do, did that uh, in wars, for example. People don't care to die uh, because they're part of the group. I mean, I think it's, it, it enhances group cohesion. And that's it for the notes. Again, some interesting information. I think it's a good comprehensive look on happiness. Not necessarily that there is isn't. Uh, solution for that i think he <laughs> thinks there is but that's a good comprehensive view again and i would recommend so four out of five and thank you